Good evening. Good evening, everyone. It has been a minute since you've seen my lovely face. I know, I know. Uh, but I'm back this evening to just share um, a few words with you. Just to share a few words with you. I've wanted to um, come in to just, you know, say hi. I haven't seen you guys in a minute. And also to... Um, remind you that we have, what, 24 days left in this year, and um, we want to finish strong. We want to finish strong, and by that, I don't mean that you need to turn up, exhaust yourself, wear yourself out, make yourself sick, um, trying to get everything done, because unfortunately, a lot of us equate um, being successful, completing tasks, completing goals, uh, getting done what we want to get done with just going, 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 going. I see people uh, post that a lot. I hear people even say that. Um, I'll rest when I'm dead. Uh, I just got to keep going, 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 which oftentimes makes you be dead faster than what you should have been. Uh, but I just wanted to, to stop in tonight and just encourage you to finish strong, run your race at your pace. Stop comparing yourself to other people, what other people are doing, what other people are accomplishing. Finish your race at your pace. I shared with you yesterday, I think it was, a very special friend of mine sent me a message a lot outlining several of the accomplishments and things that I've done this year and telling me how proud she was of me for accomplishing these things in spite of the negative things with regard to my health and so many deaths and losses and what have you. Um, but she encouraged me to, and let me know that she saw what I was doing. She said, I see you. And I want to tell you today that somebody is watching you. Somebody sees what you're doing. Somebody is being blessed uh, by what you're doing. I want you to be encouraged. Finish this year strong and powerful. Take the time to uh, sit with yourself and reflect on what you have accomplished this year, uh, what you have achieved this year, emotionally, spiritually, um, physically, whatever the case may be. You may say, well, there's so many things that I wanted to get done this year that I didn't get done. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Let's focus on what we did accomplish, what we did achieve. Um, I want you to, from here on out for the rest of the year, these last 24 days, be very intentional about celebrating yourself. Be very intentional about saluting yourself and appreciating what you've done and what you've achieved, the lives you have touched, how your life has changed for the better. Excuse me. I want you to be proud of who you are and what you've done and what you've accomplished. It doesn't matter what other people think or what they say as much as it matters what you say about yourself and how you appreciate what you've accomplished. I want you to commit to celebrating you, to saluting you. Show yourself grace, okay? I think all of us can think of something, at least one thing, that we wish we had accomplished this year, uh, but we didn't get it done. But it's okay. We're still here. Uh, we're still breathing. We're still um, functioning. And so we are celebrating that. Thank you so much, Sally. It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining me. It is important uh, because I, I hear a lot of people um, somewhere around October, November, they start 
put a lot of pressure on themselves. Uh, they go back and they look at the list of things that they uh, presented in January and things they wanted to get accomplished. And they start uh, getting anxious and upset and, uh, because I haven't achieved these things. I haven't uh, done what I wanted to do. I'm guilty of that also. But I have learned to look at my list and say, okay, I didn't get that done this year. But God willing, and then the old people used to say, the creek don't rise. I still have an opportunity to get it done later. What I need to do, what I choose to do, what I'm going to do is focus on what I have accomplished and give myself grace to say, my physical health sometimes played a part in me not being able to accomplish some things that I wanted to do this year. My financial situation uh, played a part in me not being able to accomplish some things. But I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to stop. I'm going to just focus on the things that I did accomplish and thank God that I was able to do that. Um, I want you to finish strong. You have within you the power and the ability to achieve the things that are in your spirit and in your mind and in your heart. Um, sometimes we want things done right away. And when we don't get them right away, we feel um, like we failed. Uh, but sometimes it's not, just not the time for it. One of the many, many lessons I've learned this year is that a lot of times the people that you think are the ones that are to walk you through uh, the season in your life, the people that uh, will carry you and support you are not the people. And sometimes uh, when you find that out, then you have to shift directions a little bit. Uh, you have to pivot. You, you have to rearrange and realign some things and reassess some things. But what you don't do is quit. Wow. Don't give up. As I said, we've got 24 um, days left in this year to get it done. We can do, we can get some things done in 24 days. Absolutely. You've got to, I was thinking about, as I said earlier, my friend uh, sent me a message and she listed, uh, you know, some things that she saw me accomplish this year. And as some, I didn't even realize that she was paying attention to some of those things. And that's an important point that I want to share with you tonight. Sometimes people see you succeeding. People see you uh, pushing through. People see you uh, going through things and still working. And they recognize the power of your push even greater than you do. Um, and I want to remind you to think about that. When, when I finish talking with you tonight, I want you, before you go to bed tonight, to make a list for yourself. You don't have to show it to anybody else, but make a list of what you have achieved this year, what you have accomplished in your mind, in your spirit, your finances, schooling, your family, uh, physically, if you've lost weight. I saw someone that was so excited and celebrating that they have um, gone three months, I think it was, without smoking a cigarette. And that was a big deal for them. And so I salute you. I salute you for that accomplishment. Everybody has your own list of things that you've accomplished this year. And I want you to commit to focusing on your accomplishments and not your failures. I want you um, to focus on what you have achieved, not what you have not achieved. Life is about ebbs and flows, okay? Sometimes we're riding high and other times we're down in the valley. Sometimes we're feeling extremely successful. Other times we feel like I'm doing nothing with my life. But in each phase of your life journey, you are still you. 
and you still carry with you the divine capacity and ability to succeed and achieve. And I want to encourage you with that tonight. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't worry about the January 1st list, 2023, and all the things on there that you have not accomplished. I want you to make a list tonight of what you have accomplished this year, what you have achieved, um, how you feel about yourself now based on how you felt coming into the year. I know personally, um, I brought a lot of anxiety into this year uh, for a number of reasons. And I'm leaving this year, God willing, um, with a peace that I didn't have when I came into this year, uh, with more structure in my life than I had when I came into this year. So I want you to think along those lines. Reflect, assess, and, and celebrate what you have done this year. No matter what other people think, what other people say, you know what you have achieved this year. You know what you have accomplished, whether it was releasing toxic relationships, uh, going back to school, some have graduated from school this year that didn't think they would be able to. Whatever the situation is, whatever you have achieved, whatever you have to celebrate, I want you to put that on paper. Make a list tonight of all that you have achieved this year and celebrate yourself. Don't wait for anybody else to say, girl, you did a good job. I want you to get in the habit of celebrating yourself. Salute yourself and just tell yourself, girl, you did that. Yeah, you you uh, you, you pushed through the obstacles, you jumped over the hurdles, uh, you ran through the walls, whatever you had to do to get it done, you did it. And I'm very proud of you. And then you carry that same self-celebration and appreciation into your next phase of your life journey. I didn't want to be on here uh, too long. I don't think I've been on here too long. Um, but I just clearly want you to understand how powerful you are, how important you are, how successful you are. Success is different for everybody. You don't have to be a millionaire to be successful. Uh, you don't have to be married to be successful. You don't have to have a house full of children to be successful. Your individual success is extremely important. And your individual ability to see your success, to see your accomplishments and celebrate those are so important. See yourself clearly. <clears throat> One of the things that my friend mentioned, uh, stating on the list that she sent me of how proud she was of what I've done this year. There's a line on there where she says, I see you. And that stuck out to me because a lot of times when you are working for to help people to um, advocate for people and uh, sometimes to the point of exhaustion you feel unseen um, you feel unheard it's like people are not responding so is anybody seeing me is anybody hearing me so for her to say I see you really carried a lot of weight for me and that's just this is is what I want to say to you tonight. I see you. I see you pushing through the struggles. I see you um, readjusting what you need to readjust to get it done. And as you make your list, your 2023 list of accomplishments, don't forget, we still have 24 days left. So there's some more stuff you can put on the list. But tonight, I want you to make a list up to this point the things you've accomplished and achieved and see yourself, see your success, see where you've grown, see where you have uh, developed 
and salute yourself, celebrate yourself. I was thinking about clarity of sight and how important that is, because a lot of times we find ourselves anxious, exhausted, overwhelmed, because we can't see clearly. And as most of you know, I had um, cataract surgery in both eyes. And I was thinking about that the other day, um, about how much clearer I can see certain things now than before I had the surgery. Um, before the surgery, because what happens is, for those of you that don't know, like myself, I didn't know until I looked it up when I realized I was going to have to have the surgery. What happens is the natural lens in your eye over time gets cloudy. And so your sight becomes blurred and uh, fuzzy. Um, colors are not clear as they used to be. Um, things start to fade. And so what happens is the surgeon goes in and cuts out the lens in your eye replaces it with an artificial lens. And as you heal, your sight becomes clearer and the pictures are more, uh, colors are more vivid and everything. And some of us are at that point in our life and on our journey where we need to have um, spiritual cataract surgery. And when I say spiritual, I'm not, talking about religion. Most of you know me. Uh, you know I'm not into religiosity. Um, and so everything I talk about doesn't come from uh, the basis of I'm talking about uh, church experience or anything like that. When I speak of spiritual insight and healing and cleansing and clarity, I mean the spirit, the soul of a man that you are created with has to be clear in order for you to travel the terrain that, that is your life journey. And so some of us need that right now. Uh, we've experienced a lot of blurriness and fuzziness and things that used to be clear are not so clear anymore. It's time for you to have a spiritual cataract surgery, okay? Get some clarity. If that involves um, your praying meditation, if it involves therapy, if it involves getting you a mentor, if it involves getting you uh, someone that can help stir you in the areas that you're not familiar with, uh, instead of sitting back, allowing yourself to become frustrated, overwhelmed, connect with someone that's traveled that way before. Connect with people who see you, hear you, feel you, and support what you're trying to do. I have been blessed this year um, to connect with some individuals who see my heart and they hear what I'm saying, even when I can't put my words together. They feel the vision that I carry and they say to me, what do you need me to do to help you? Or they'll say to me, this is my area of expertise. Let me do this for you. And so I want to encourage you with that tonight. Finish strong this year. This is your race. Finish it at your pace. Stop allowing other people to dictate to you how fast you should be running. This is your race. All right. So I just wanted to share that with you because as we come to the end of any year, we generally um, start reflecting. Uh, we go through periods of um, reflection and we want to look back over the whole entire year and see where we failed, where we got stronger where we um, should have lost, where we lost some things, where we gained some things. And sometimes that's a good thing. Other times it's not so good because 
if you're a person that focuses on the negative more than the positive, uh, sometimes when you just take time and look back over what you have not accomplished, you don't give any attention to what you have accomplished. And tonight I came in to remind you that you have achieved a lot this year. It may take somebody else like it did with me to point it out to you. Like I knew I did these things, but I didn't really make a list. Maybe that's what we need to do is have a journal because you know I'm all about journaling. Um, I can go back and find journals from 10, 15 years ago with things and notes that people uh, shared with me. And so maybe I need to start a journal of and every Friday, write down what I accomplished that week. And then by the end of the year, I can go back. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe you can do the same thing. But the whole point of my conversation tonight is to remind you to celebrate everything you've accomplished this year. When, when, when um, somebody said to me the other day, that I have really blessed them and their family this year. And I have encouraged them. My words have encouraged them more than I even knew. I literally cried tears of joy because that is why I do what I do. I want to encourage and I want to uplift and I want to build up. Um, But sometimes you don't realize that you're doing that. And so to see it written down, to hear of someone share publicly that I had done that for them, it encouraged me to keep doing what I'm doing. And so that's what I want to do for you tonight. I want to encourage you to can be continue to be the best version of yourself, continue to give everybody the best version of yourself, but most importantly, be the best version of yourself for yourself, okay? Again, I encourage you tonight before you go to bed to make a list of your accomplishments this week. I'm sorry, this year. You know, whether some of you have lost weight. Um, as I said earlier, someone was like so excited that they had been not had a cigarette, I think it was like three months. That's powerful because if you know anything about addiction of any kind, including nicotine, it is a powerful force. Um, but to say that they were excited because they had stopped not had a cigarette. That's something to celebrate. If you wanted to lose some weight and you lost weight, that's something to celebrate. Some of you wrote your first books this year. Some of you um, started a business um, this year. Some of you rekindled relationships that were important to you, but had fractured for whatever reason. That's an accomplishment. So I want you to promise to sit down tonight before you go to bed, make a list of what you have done this year, what you have accomplished, and take time to celebrate that. Okay? Speak out loud to yourself. Girl, you did that. Boy, you did that. Whatever the case may be, whoever you are, celebrate you. All right? Okay, I'm getting ready to let you go. Um, Does anybody have any questions or comments that you want to share with me before I go? I have um, been so blessed this year. Um, As I shared earlier this week, last Sunday, I was ordained um, and reaffirmed as a pastor. And some people were saying to me, um, oh, you know, like, I guess because I don't uh, do the whole every other post is about God, every other person's post is a scripture. A um, couple of people who are like, oh, I didn't even know you were a preacher. Like, okay, well, I am. I've been for a long time. Um, but being able to be ordained and consecrated into that office uh, by my godmother, Bishop O'Brien, was powerful for me. 
powerful for me. It's something that I wanted to do. Um, I've been talking to her about it for a while and we made it happen. And um, it's just the beginning of a whole nother phase of blessings and of my journey. I, for the first time in years, I traveled to Washington, D.C. Those of you who know me personally and uh, are around me, have been around me physically, uh, you know that with all this I have going on in my body, um, traveling that distance was very painful for me. Literally during the uh, ordination a couple of times, um, some of the sisters that were surrounding me were so loving and kind to help hold me up because I was in so much pain. Um, but it was something that I needed to do, that I wanted to do, that I know that I was divinely predestined to do. And so to be able to say I accomplished that this year, thank you, Pastor LD. To say that I accomplished that this year was a big deal for me. And so this is what I'm saying to you. It doesn't have to be anything as large as being ordained as a pastor. Take the time to write down everything that you've accomplished this year and celebrate yourself. Salute yourself. Pat yourself on the back that God gave you the strength. He gave you the insight. He gave you the wisdom. He gave you the support system. Whatever you needed to get that thing done. Celebrate that. There are so many of us that are uh, going through emotional challenges this time of year because it's all, always difficult during the holidays when you have lost loved ones. Um, people try to tell you to get over it, you know, and you all know how I feel about that. But it is challenging to get through this time of year when you have loved ones who have gone on uh, from this realm even before, but even recently, like in the last, what, month, two months, um, I have, uh, people have transitioned that are close to me, people that I know personally. In one day, what was that, Monday, I received two phone calls of people who transitioned. So what I'm saying to you is, even in the midst of that, we celebrate. We celebrate that we're still here. We celebrate that we didn't break down um, and just lose, like, lose, lose our minds over the losses. So we celebrate everything. All right. Okay. I think I've been talking enough. Um, I appreciate you so much for joining me. Each and every one of you are such an encouragement to me and a blessing to me. Pastor LD is always behind the scenes, encouraging me, um, praying for me, sending me um, messages that uplift me. And sometimes I forget to respond to the message, but uh, um, I read the messages and I hear the, the uh, voice messages and they, they bless me, they encourage me. So this is what I'm saying to you. There is somebody watching you Somebody is seeing what you're doing. Somebody's life is being changed because of what you're doing. No matter how small and insignificant it may seem to you, somebody is being blessed because you are running your race. So I encourage you tonight to finish strong and uh, see you on the other side. <laughs> Have a good evening, everybody. I love you.